I couldn't believe what I was watching. I remember the first time I walked on the volume and I was like, wow. You can literally take actors into a, a real space whilst not being there. Well, I tried to describe it to my son and I just said, oh. It's like the biggest TV you'll ever see and we just act in front of it. You see the whole landscape in front of you. So you're really looking at the sea. And it looks real. It really looks real. Someone at Netflix told us about the volume technology. At the beginning, we didn't really take it serious, to be honest. Venturing into something that's completely new is very difficult, and it helps if the people at the table understand what each and every one is talking about. It was for us really important that we're a cool group of people that are willing to learn new things. For us, it was essential to stay here in Germany. Studio Walzberg is one of the oldest studios in the world. Fritz Lang's Metropolis was shot in there. Being able to put new technology in there and continue that history is fantastic for us. The volume is an incredible artistic tool to work with, but it also is quite a beast. We have 350 square meter shooting area, 270 degrees of viewing angles, and as an industry first, a revolving stage which can basically move the entire set and enable the filmmaker to shoot 360 degrees in whatever environment he could think of. It's a huge help for us, so we don't have to travel to, to the desert nor to the North Pole nor to the glaciers and stuff. You can change that within a minute. It's so real that I remember a lot of us, when we first stepped onto the volume, got seasick when we were watching the waves in the background go up and down. The other great thing that we have in here is a rain rig. And this is something where I think nobody believes that this is possible. And I'm not talking about drizzle, I'm talking about proper rain, where we've been all standing in, the actors been standing in, we all got really wet. It was amazing. You don't need to have a part of your brain focused on projecting and imagining. You can just receive it. It's really fun, you like a little child, you create worlds and then you add stuff here and add there and step by step you're getting closer, creating a reality that doesn't feel like it was created, but it actually exists. We get to be pioneers. We get to work on things we have no idea about. The ambience, the peacefulness of this set, they managed to create something that was so, I don't know, the most beautiful set I've ever seen in my life. I just can't believe that we've been able to make a series on here. It's utterly, utterly thrilling. Everyone will experience so many new worlds. It's a kaleidoscope, horror, beauty, mystery. It's full of surprises. Why do you think they're all here? They're all running away from something. Why else would someone ever want to go somewhere different? As the title tells you, it takes place in 1899. The ship of immigrants going from Europe to America. And on their journey, they encounter something very mysterious. Captain. I think they should be better with it came from Bo and Yante for sure that they wanted to have this truly international cast and they wanted to have everyone speaking their own language. We ended up casting out of England, Germany, Norway, Iceland, France, Hong Kong, Spain, Poland, Portugal, 
Do you say Denmark? That was a truly huge challenge for us, and I think a really groundbreaking idea from them. Let's go. Let's go. You embrace the fact that you don't understand one another, but you don't have to spend the entire scene going, I don't understand you. It's just there. It's just it's just in the scene and you just have to get on with it. Much like I guess you would in real life. There are days where I have to listen to Cantonese the whole day and I have no clue what they're saying, but I can actually tell what they're saying by rehearsing a lot and trusting the actors that they tell me this is the angry version of I love you in Cantonese, as almost everything in Cantonese sounds to us very angry. We had to come up with a lot of systems for us to understand what everyone is saying. Is this in character? Is this not in character? Cantonese, Spanish, Danish, Polish, German, French. We all have language assistants with us on set who kind of help us if we have missed a line or have said something wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dung Word. What does bangers and mash mean? Bangers. Bangers and mash. Si do belle. Sorry? Si do belle. Like you've got one, one group of people speaking French and you pass them bonjour, you've got another people speaking Polish, Danish, German. Krankenkassenzuschlag. I feel like it's custard. I think it's amazing to be on a multi-language show. I think it's about time. Hola, ¿qué tal? There's a lot of different people from different countries working. That's really cool. We need more stories from all over the world. You're looking for what you have in common and you try to build up a synergy to create together. And that's what we're doing here internationally. Especially during our time with COVID and, and Brexit, it's just great just to see that we, we're all together. And this is the beautiful story about 1899. If you actually want to survive, we have to be together because no one can survive on their own. Fluttai. Hola, ¿qué tal? There's a lot of different people from different countries working. That's really cool.
That's a wrap.